Hello, my brave knights, princesses, and princesses. Welcome back to Let's Play The Fabled Woods. <clears throat> it's a Friday. And my voice. Give it back. Thank you. My voice is defying me again. So, we're back. That's better. This mic is never going to look straight on this camera. Ever. So, yes, we're playing the Fabled Woods. When I left off, we started this game. We picked these up. And the guy asked if we have ever been feeling like we've been watched. And I'm sorry about the short video, but oh, this is not going to work. Hold on. There we go. Now I want to be able to... S Hold on. This game has a windowed mode, yes, but it doesn't... Hold on. I can just put you... I can put you over here. That's better. This game does have a windowed mode, but it, um, is borderless, so it's kind of painful. Guess we'll go upstairs. Oh, can we? We can't go up, actually. Hold on. But can we go in the alter alternate dimension? Well, there's an arrow that says... Up. So, we can't go up though, because this is broken. Okay. Alright. Let's see, what's this? This is where it all ended. This is where I drunkenly fell asleep and failed to protect my boy, William. Because of me, he drowned. I should have been there to protect him, but I cared more about the bottle. That was a shame. Hey, door opened. All right. The place feels so empty without William, but it's held up well over the years. Okay. Let's look around first before we. I has a plate. How many balls do you have, dude? Let's see here. Look at this garbage. They were laughing at me. Told me to go back to the cabin and stay out of the sun for a bit. There is something or someone watching me out here. Why did I think they would believe me? They need to be warning the people not to come into these woods until this has been solved. There is something happening out here, and no one will do a dang thing about it. Eccentric and reclusive hermit claims monster sightings by Chris Gord. Daily Re-Correspondent. Despite there being no leads to recent disappearances as well as local reclu- A well-known re local recluse claims to have solved the case. Our source reports to seeing the man Larry and one of his rare appearances in town pay a visit to the local police. According to the witness, there was ranting about a wolf-like creature. It claims hunts among the trees and has menaced him on several occasions. It is understood local police are not pursuing this as a serious lead, and we have yet to receive a comment from Bigfoot or Loch Ness Monster as to whether or not they too have paid a visit, a visit to our little town. Hmm. This kind of reminds me, oh, there's a creepypasta going around now. There's a creepypasta going on. 
going about hello I see you about the woods about a camp out oh not about the woods um it's about a uh, ranger and their look at this garbage they were laughing at me told me to go back to the cabin and stay out of the sun for a bit there is something or someone watching me out here why did I think they would believe me they need to be warning the people not to come into these woods until this has been solved there is something happening out here and no one will do a dang thing about it hey Larry thanks for your letter yeah it's really quiet out here good to clear the head again it's exactly what I need right now you know how twisted life can be, but who am I to tell Elaine this to? No matter which direction you look at, there are trees, trees, and a few more trees. Sometimes a raccoon drops by, but that's all the visitors I get here. I haven't seen any rangers here either, but there seems to be nothing else strange going on out here. I guess that's what happens when you're in the middle of nowhere, your imagination goes wild. Talking about strange characters, another lookout sometimes reports to me on the walkie a woman and she's been doing the job a lot longer than me, but I can't really figure her out. I'll keep you informed to- Wait! This is a reference to Firewatch! It just hit me. Well that's all for now, I'll let you know when the raccoon pushes me out of the outhouse. Seriously, there is only an outhouse here, but hey, it's more than you have out there in your cabin. So, this guy, Hank and Larry, knew each other. Yeah, H Hank is the name of the guy from Firewatch. Let's see here. Uh... That door is locked. Flashlight. Yep, those are the walkie talkies from. F I dropped one. Those are the walkie talkies from Firewatch. I tried playing Firewatch, but I didn't. I never have. I should now. Um. I know all about it. It's a great. It's a fantastic game. I'm being pushed up by a bookshelf. Oh, so yes, I know that the game replayed the same dialogue again. Aha. Why was somebody bringing chemicals out here to the woods? That bottle you're looking at is what started this whole mess. That's when I knew I wasn't alone. Turns out mine wasn't the only cabin out here anymore. But next to that cabin, though, was a cage. But it wasn't empty. And it weren't no bear. It had fur, gray and black, like a wolf. But it also had skin, rough, like a man. I couldn't make sense of what I was seeing. I grabbed this bottle, hoping I could bring it to the police. Maybe then they would believe me. Probably not. Like I said, this it, it this reminds me of that creepy pasta. What is it called? Um, I'm a forest ranger, and something is taking the children. Fascinating read, or listen. You can listen to it.
Hold on. Why can't I have peace? Wow. So for those of you that don't know, we're going to be playing this game and Paradise Lost back to back. And I have more games coming along the way. So be excited for that. miss him so much. Still can't run. I'm just kind of looking around because there's so much to look at. It's ridiculous. Uh, come on, get up there. Ridiculous. Why don't you let me leave this place? I don't know, you tell me. You tell me, game. I'm the one here. Just making sure there's nothing else to see before I go into that room. Okay. Oh. Chevy was no use. I should have left this place when I found that cabin. I knew what I felt wasn't right. I just didn't know that night would be my last. I didn't know what it was, but what I saw in that cage had come for me. Whoever made that thing must have known I went to the police. This is where my story ends, drunk and scared in a corner. Is this how William felt? Alone and scared. Your story carries on. You must learn the tales of these woods. They are what's holding us back. We all live with our actions, our consequences. But do you? Go now. There's someone else who would like to see you. I mean, yeah, pretty sure everyone does. We all have to live with what we've done in our lives. Sometimes it's unpleasant. You're back? Not again. I guess we'll start where we always do. I'm Sarah. I came out to these woods to get away, much like Larry. While I didn't lose a son, I did take one away. You see, I'm a forensic archaeologist. I dig up bones for a living, and I'm quite good at it. Until my last case, my evidence put the wrong man behind bars. I'm out here to solve a cold case, make what I did right. 
Come on, there's not much daylight left. Ooh, an archaeologist, huh? That sounds fun. Also, remember to leave a like if you haven't, and subscribe. Make sure to not just subscribe, but to slap the subscribe button so hard that it will always remember your name. I feel like I'm playing a mix of Drizzle Pass, Firewatch, and Ethan Carter, because we're wandering the woods. I don't know who we're playing as, but I'm equally fascinating. Fascinating. Well, fascinated. The first place I dug. Being an archaeologist, you learn over time to never expect anything on your first attempt. It's like waving a magnet at a haystack in the vague hope you'll find the needle, but... You have to start somewhere, and for me, this was it. I didn't find much, although it was nice to rule out the area. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh. My office. I spent a lot of time here. More than I did at home, I guess. My first case. An adolescent homicide. Sometimes it's easier to use the official wording than to say outright someone killed a kid and left their body on a roof. I spent so many hours in that chair trying to figure it out. How I found out I put the wrong man in prison. The DNA didn't match, but that didn't matter. He's already behind bars, and our justice system is not about to make itself look bad. My superiors look at me with disappointment. They know what I did, and that there's nothing that can be done. This is a disgrace. The appeal to retest the DNA results in your recent case have come back. The DNA is not matched. Do you know what this could mean for the department, for your career? The judge is going to have a field day with this. If he even hears the case results, you could have just put the wrong man in prison for life. We're putting you on the woods case. It should be a cut and dry day. We have had reports of people missing, but no bones. Go find our bones and please make sure they're human. Ouch. Can't hurt to make sure to be thorough, you know. What the hell? Who did this? My office, all my things, my papers, my files, ah! Years of my life are in here. All my cases, everything I ever worked on, all scattered and messed up. Who would do this? And why? It's kind of funny, I look up at you saying why and I see the words why, I'm like... Hmm. can't really read that. Sometimes the space bar thing works, sometimes it doesn't. So many pieces. Sometimes it's only when you step back and take a look at the whole tableau that you can make sense of where each individual fragment belongs, what it all means. But you. I could never make sense of you. And now this? How dare you? Um, who are we? Oh look, it's Larry. Larry, Joe, Jack, 
mark. Truth be told, seeing the wrong man behind bars really made me question my ability. I put what I found into evidence and finalized a man's life. I should have checked it, but instead, I was in a rush. I was foolish. I just wanted to finally solve the case. I mean, don't we all? Nothing here either except animal bones, again. I remember finding it a little odd that I never once caught sight of a deer or anything that they could have come from. Strange. I thought, given how disturbed the topsoil was, I might be onto something. Unfortunately, another dead end. Interesting. No noise when we walk across the water. No splashing noise, that is. That is curious. The strangest thing happened one morning while I was digging. I started to feel something watching me. I'm not crazy, but we've all had those moments. This felt too real. I haven't seen any animals in the woods. What could be out there? I kept digging, but that feeling lingered. I stood up, looked around, but I couldn't see anything. I should have left, gone home for the day, and never come back. I was too focused on solving the case. After a while, the feeling went away, and I got on with my digging. Didn't that scare me? Guess not. I just kept going. Hmm. You had a job to do. You wanted to make sure you didn't make the same mistake twice. I was kind of starting to freak out by this point. I needed to solve this case. Thinking back, it was stupid of me to think I would find the answers so quickly. I was rushing again. If I wasn't careful, I could lose my job, put another person away that doesn't deserve it. But they had to be out here somewhere, and if I wasn't finding them, where else could they be? I don't know. Perhaps you were put on a wild goose chase and you didn't even realize it. They just wanted to get you away so that they could save face.
This is kind of irritating, actually. How oh, you have to keep pressing the space bar to remember. How could you do this? Where did you hide them? Okay. So no goodbye to that one. I don't know who we are, but I have a feeling I may have a theory. I just... I don't like constantly having to press the space bar to find the clue when it would be better if we could just like press and hold the space bar. Ironic for someone so used to discovering and excavating lost bodies that I'd become one myself. For all the years I spent unearthing bodies, it seems unfair somehow that mine ended up like this. Just laid out in the open, broken and discarded. Maybe I deserved this. I was fooled by the beauty of these woods. I only hope that you can find the answers you need. That everything that happened was not in vain. Push forwards, but prepare yourself. You stand on the verge of a terrible darkness. Okay. Sorry, the compass thing is stuck. There's nothing I can do about it, really. This place is so pretty, though. I mean, I don't want to be full either, but I'm like, it's all so pretty, you know. Hello? It's a Brian backpack. Apparently we are somebody that these people knew. That's what bothers me. Is that we're somebody that these people knew. So I'm wondering, you know, who. But that's a question we'll ask for the next episode. So, until we come back, leave a like and subscribe because I always room for more scenes with you. Bye, everyone.